to today's video we are going to be doing a little reading a little reading that is just going to be for the whole consciousness for all of us i hope that you can relate i'm going to be touching bases on uh, the upcoming new moon new moon in libra on october 6 2021 Okay, so the new moon in Libra, I'm going to be touching a little basis of what the new moon in Libra is bringing or it's all about for all our signs. And I'm not going to go in any specific sign. I'm going to just talk about all together has one. And I hope you can relate. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to choose three cards. And then I have a special card from Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland tarot card. But the main reading of the three cards for the whole consciousness is going to be with the main tarot deck. I hope you can relate, enjoy, comment down below how, you know, if you related to it. And if not, then thanks for still watching the video. <laughs> All right, here we go. First, let's talk a little bit about what this whole new moon in Libra symbolizes. So the new moon, whenever you have a new moon, you know, it's about new beginner beginnings. It's the energy that is holding space. It's the face of the moon where it gives us a little bit push, a little bit of this energy to start something new, to begin the project, to make the choice. And when you have in a specific sign, such as Libra, we're going to talk about right now. Libra is ruled by the planet Venus. Venus is the planet of love, romance, and money. But if you don't know yet, also right now at this time, we are going through, we are in Mercury retrograde. And I'm not going to go into depth on that. But whenever, <laughs> but I am going to go anyways. But which means retrograde, right? Have you been noticing that you have to resend emails? Your text didn't go through. Uh, you said something and the other person understood something different, etc. Or did your ex try to contact you back? Did people from the past try to come back to you and you're like what i haven't heard from you in so long and now all of a sudden all of this energy that you have not dealt with what you thought you had or you never even thought of it is coming up in front of you giving you an opportunity to come and deal with the emotions to come and deal with the face of your life from the past retro from the past and if he's right there in front of you it's telling you hey i know you're doing really good in life but um you haven't dealt with me yet and here i am boom and of course it comes in the less uh expected times or in the less appropriate times that's when we are want to talk about red mercury retrograde is when you least expect it it's just sometimes a lot of times it's just not comfortable but when you are prepared prepare because you prepare as you go I, I i visualize or i think or when you see the, i've been trying to kill this guy for the longest and i just i Anybody knows the meaning of a mosquito in the spiritual world? Because, uh, damn. what are you trying to tell me? I opened the door so many times, but my cats want to get out. All right, coming back. I'm sorry. Mercury retrograde. So everything is going to be misleading or miscommunication you know you don't and i have make a video about about the about mercury retrograde so you can check it out in my youtube channel the previous video before this but right now it's a time where again let's look at libra we're in libra season yeah the libra new moon is coming on the 6th wednesday the 6th of october 2021 
today we are on the third Sunday the third when I'm making this video but we have already started the Libra season last week so we are in this Libra energy which means that we are rotating the signs the signs are happening the energy of the sign happening and right now we are going through the Libra energy what does the Libra energy symbolizes the scale right the scale oh, Libra is trying to find so many things at once and it wants peace Libra is the people pleasing and if you are not Libra you still have some Libra energy somewhere in your chart and for that we have to go a completely different reading personal but we all have some type of Libra depending on where it is in your chart so right now we all are dealing in some type of way with an energy of a Libra. But just think about it. Libra is ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of, like I said, romance, love, and money. But we are also in Mercury retrograde. <sighs> God, tell me if it is not enough a lot. Like, what the fuck? Is, if you understand, please give me a like and let me know because... I'm really working on trying to make it um, into words that you guys understand. That's what I want to create content on and I'm trying, I'm working on. So Libra is the scale, it is the trying to balance, ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love, money, romance. But Mercury, backwards, no destruction, but chaos, misunderstanding, misleading. So right now... It's not a great time to go and say, yes, I, I'm going to start this relationship right now. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just talking about energy really wise. Because you may realize after the Mercury retrograde is done, which is in October 20, October 18, October 18, 2021. When Mercury goes back into where it's supposed to be then it's when you want to make those decisions but right now it's time to sit back deal with all the energy from the past the relationships from the past the things that you haven't dealt with that are going to be showing up even if you don't look for it it's going to just pop out because it wants an end because it wants you to deal with it or it wants it to deal with it <laughs> but you got the choice right you got you are you and you make your own choice and of course doing the work is never too comfortable so my whole point on this so i can go back going to the reading right now you are into libra season which is constantly trying to balance the right the wrong the pleasing the doing and either two sides and this is the question that you want to ask yourself Am I, have I, am I right now, have I in the past been giving too much to other people? And I haven't given anything to myself? So then if the, que the answer is yes, I just been giving to people and not to myself. And I've been not, you know, giving that energy, caring and being with myself. Because I've been so busy giving to others, which then great for you. But right now, this energy of Libra is telling you, is vibrating, is helping you, is reminding you. And I'm sure you can see in different aspects of your life, depending on what your answer is. If you are having, if it's some balance, because you ha are constantly giving more to others and not yourself, you either get sick or something. Something will come up in your physical, manifesting your physical reality. That it, it tells you, hey, do you see this balance? There's no balance in here. We in Libra season, baby. Come on, let's do something to balance it at least the best we can. Because we can. But then you have Mercury retrograde. So it's gonna just the energy of the Mercury retrograde is just making everything a little bit more chaotic and disruptive. I don't wanna use the word disruptive. Um chaotic and just a little more difficult. But Again, depending on where the Libra energy is in your chart. But at least being conscious of it, just makes you conscious of it. <laughs> and you're able to navigate through these times. And that's the whole point of why I'm sharing this. So 
if you are giving too much be conscious of it and at this time make space and time for yourself even though it's uncomfortable you don't even know how to do it try do try saying no i'm sorry i can it's okay to say i'm sorry i can and allow and just be with these and become conscious of your patterns of people pleasing if your answer in the other side is i'm keeping too much with myself and i'm not giving to others then be like all right today or this in this period of maker retrograde of libra season maybe you feel called to give to a homeless or to help somebody that you never thought you would help or somebody asks you for help and instead of you just being lazy in the couch all day or i don't know playing video games or smoking weed all day maybe you're like fine i'll give you a ride so you help somebody else or you do a huge donation i don't know whatever depending on what your sign is it's gonna depending on you who whatever you want to do but if you are again ask yourself maybe maybe we, we know we constantly do things that and we're not conscious of it uh, we just keep doing it and sometimes we don't even like it or want it so if when you ask yourself do i have a balance in my giving and my receiving if your answer is like i'm not giving enough and i'm just taking taking giving or i'm just being tied up with myself and i'm not even receiving or giving then these energies are telling you come over here share with people be with people give to people receive what people give you open up yourself speak what you think speak your ideas and again mercury retrograde is gonna make it a little tougher to speak your idea so it's like a whole contradiction like just like what life is and it's a beautiful thing so i'm gonna be concluding what <laughs> the new moon in libra on uh, 6th of october 2021 going through mercury retrograde is all about if you have to re-watch this part of the 13 minutes and 0 0.19 seconds you go ahead and do that i'm gonna move forward into our card readings again this card i'm gonna be choosing three cards plus oh, our magical card from the alice in wonderland tarot cards this reading is for all our consciousness it should be relating to all of us in different aspects of areas and whatever it is however you decide and feel like you take it you take it or not enjoy oops you guys have one believe what just happened but three cards just fell out of my deck so we got our three cards ready i'm so ready okay let's see so this is one Two, fill down here. Three. And then our magical card here. Okay. Our magical card from the tarot card is this star. So this card is all about hope, faith, healing, cleansing, renewal, guidance, peace. So it's connected to the new moon, right? Renewal, peace, something new. What is she doing there? And you can go as deep as you want. If you want to just uh, analyze it for yourself, who does that represent? Who does this person represent for you? Is it you? Is it somebody? It reminds you of someone specific. She's going down by the water and grabbing something. <laughs> and she's just like in this jungle, right? And you can see like it's nighttime. She's been walking maybe for a long time. It's like a whole journey, right? What happens with Alice in Wonderland? She falls down the rabbit hole and then so many things are happening. And she's just going, going down all this and She's trying to give back something that is already hers. And yeah, she looks tired, but there is hope in here. There is healing. So whenever in our life there is uh, a lot of challenges, 
that happens in life will, are inevitable, are part of the journey. It's those challenges are the ones that take you sometimes to get in your knees, right? But that gives you the healing. And that is the whole journey. Is the healing of the experience, of the pain, of the chaos, of the Mercury retrograde Libra season to balance and come together. Asking for inspiration and, and for a new project, a new relationship since Libra is in the sign of Venus, which is the sign of love, right? Or business, business. Maybe you have a new business idea or a, a business partnership. Should I trust this person or am I giving too much or am I not, you know, whatever it has to do with relationship and financial, it could be together, the star, the healing, the trusting, the faith, the hope, but in order to have hope and healing, you gotta do the work, so let's continue in here, real quick, bring it down, 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 bring it down. Mm. Five of cup. So what's happening with this person right here, right? He had a long journey. Just very similar to our star right here. Just look at check this out. I'm trying to make it yeah. Oh, and guess what? <laughs> no that. So very similar uh, situation here. There's cups. He's looking at the three cups that are falling down in the floor. He's looking at them and it's like, motherfucker, America retrograde hit me hard. But he's just thinking about what didn't work out. He's thinking about what didn't go right. He's thinking, or she is thinking about what he dropped what he lost but if he will only turn around turn back he has two cups yeah two is less than three but there are two cups that are full there's water that he can go fill them up he can walk he has feet there's all these possibilities and all these chances that he could use and continue his path but he is wasting so much, no wasting, I'm sorry, I don't want to use the word. He's choosing all his time, well, time of this card. And it's when we pay attention more to the negative than, it's not, you know, and it's great to feel the negative, right? Like I said, like she is like that, the negative is what takes you to the healing journey. And it's great to heal it and feel it and go through it. But how long will you stay acknowledging what fell down How, like what if somebody else comes and grabs those cups go back turn around and look at the cup two cups that you do have all right we got the king of swords backwards king of swords backwards what do you want to tell us king of swords so whenever we think about swords swords are um, our emotions source are the emotions so he looks he's a king he looks steady he looks balanced like Libra season but he's backwards he's backwards so he has so much power sometimes we have so much power and uh, when I say power I don't mean like it doesn't have to be like power of changing the world because we're not here to change it but power like emotional let's again swords let's think about emotion our own emotional strength our own balance of keeping our emotions st stable and being able to balance them and go through them in a healthy way but he's backwards so right now mercury <laughs> retrograde oh god and i didn't know you guys saw everything just fell down it's really cool mercury and retrograde going backwards just like the the car is is backwards is telling us 
there is time of needing to balance our emotions so if you feel like there's time to be alone for a little bit and meditate and deal with the emotions and maybe the ex that came back from four two years ago doesn't mean that you're gonna go back with him but it means that those emotions were never dealt with and now it's time to deal and release them to release it rather than relieve it let's move into the last third last card we have the queen of wands whenever you talk about the wands whenever you talk about wands we're talking about action you want to think about actions what kind of actions am i taking in my life are the actions that i'm taking in my life in favor of what i need or are taking me closer to where i'm my goal is what is my goal so it's just taking you back to acknowledge that look at her she's just sitting down with that one she has that stability the work that you do throughout this time this you know this couple of days are coming up until the mercury retrograde ends and then we're about to go into scorpio season which is a whole different psychological level that i'll make another video on right now the work that you do now or the work that you do not do now is going to show up after mercury retrograde after the 18th of october so whatever work you do now or whatever work you do not do now you will accumulate more healing more work for the next season or you will make it easier for yourself and you have to deal with a different area and perspective side of your life boom that is my quick longest three four cards that reading that i have given you for today uh, let me know how this reading went it was my first time actually doing this type of reading online you know for everyone or just for one person if you're interested you can contact me and schedule your own. You can check out my um, website down below. Follow me on social media. And happy new moon. New moon, Libra, Mercury, Retrograde. You got this. Thank you.